Hi guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 57 of 100 days 100 concepts and today in this video we are going to discuss about TMT. So what is this TMT? TMT is an abbreviation for Thermomechanical Treatments. Okay, Thermomechanical Treatments. So here from the name itself you can easily guess what is actually happening in this treatment or in this process, right? So, this treatment is, you know, uh, a combination of plastic deformation, okay, as you can see, mechanical treatment is nothing but the plastic deformation and there is something called as thermo or thermal treatment. So, because of the thermal treatment, what happens? There will be changes in the microstructure, there will be changes in the phases present in your materials, let's say steels, okay. So, it is nothing but phase transformations okay so from the name itself we have arrived at two important processes which are phase transformation and plastic deformation and here you must know that this thermomechanical treatments involve okay both of them right so now why is this needed okay before studying uh, what it exactly is why is it actually needed we have many other heat treatments like uh, annealing normalizing hardening quenching tempering all these mini heat treatments that we have but why this tmt is actually shining why tmt is used for commercial applications this is because the steels okay let's say i am uh, sticking with steels but uh, rather in any of the uh, system alloy system you see that this tmt grades okay tmt materials actually give a combination of unique properties okay let's say i have i need very high strength and also i need very good ductility this is usually cannot be obtained in conventional ways so tmt does that Okay, so we know like um, in various applications like in the areas of space in the aerospace industries okay we need all these important properties okay for various other applications so this can be achieved by i just said that tmt is a combination of plastic deformation which is the mechanical working and the phase transformation which is the thermal treatment that is actually taking place or you can also say heat treatment right so now the statement uh, which I just said as the combination does not define the term TMT. Okay, let's say uh, in uh, normal language, the term mechanical thermomechanical treatment okay is not equal. Okay, TMT does not refer to any treatment okay or any combination of heat treatment and mechanical working why is that so just now i said that it is a combination of these two but now i am telling that not all combinations of heat treatments and mechanical working are tmts but so in the metallurgical sense the proper definition if you want to explain about tmt it means something else okay so that means the purpose okay so the purpose of this combination should improve the properties and it will be done when plastic deformation is actually carried out plastic deformation is actually carried out in such a way such that this plastic deformation is affecting the phase transformation that will be taking place in my material that means the phase transformation is getting affected by the plastic deformation which is actually taking place so how is this effect formed or what is its effect so the basic principle behind this thermomechanical treatment tmt is that we know that on plastic deformation various crystal defects are generated right so this may be dislocations this low, this may be vacancy defects this may be stacking fall subgrain boundaries any kind of crystal defects may be generated in the plastic deformation and these crystal defects the crystal defect formation is actually affecting the phase transformation that we want to 
you know uh, inhibit in the sample so what happens here is that the crystal defects which are formed are actually acting as nucleating sites for the phase transformations okay so there will be nucleating sites okay so these crystal defects whatever defects that are generated are acting as nucleating sites and there a new phase nuclei may be generated and of course this will be aiding for further diffusion process and the new phase will be growing okay so this is the proper metallurgical definition okay of tmt so it is a combination where you see the plastic deformation is followed by phase transformation i said followed because there may be sufficient time gap between them or rather they can be simultaneously also taking place okay so remember plastic deformation must be the uh, former process which we are interested to consider okay so plastic deformation is actually generating lots and lots of defects crystal defects which are actually acting as a nucleating sites for the new phases and because we are actually doing it along with the temperature changes at various temperatures you see phase transformations also taking place okay so this is an important aspect that you have to know okay so the phase transformation should occur under the condition of what increase in the crystal defects that is when you refer tmt okay this is perfect combination of how to define thermo mechanical treatments and as i already said these two are overlapping that means this may be simultaneously taking place or with slight time gap between them and this can be used for various applications like this can be used for ferrous metals non ferrous metals but in non ferrous metals the only limitation is only precipitation hardenable or heat treatable alloys can be used or subjected to this tmt okay so now one thing uh, is let's see the ttt curve Okay, so I am taking some eutectoid steel. This is my temperature A three. This is A one. Okay, so if I am heating to a temperature above A three, okay, which is above the upper critical temperature, and I am cooling to some temperature below my recrystallization temperature or below A one, and I am deforming here, and then cooling back to room temperature so that I form martensite, right? So this is the heat treatment, you know. the tmt process which we see and also here the incubation period what is incubation period the time okay the time period where you see the start of perlitic or bainitic transformation depending on what cooling rate that you are seeing or what steel that you are actually seeing right so now this is where i have actually performed the deformation isothermally here okay and the phase transformation is also actually affected here okay so now based on this we can actually say that if temperature is greater than tr i can call it htmt which is my high temperature tmt whereas if t is less than tr we call ltmt which is low temperature tmt so now best examples are hot working okay or hot rolling in this and in low temperature we have cold working okay so we know various advantages and disadvantages of cold working and hot working right so in cold working you see that the reduction in areas are large enough it it goes to 80 to 90 percentage but the product after cold working has less ductility but high strength whereas when we talk about hot working we are actually above the recrystallization temperature so what happens here what happens at recrystallization temperature there will be new strain free grains that are generated so because of this the new strain free grains generation will actually reduce the strain effect the strain hardening effect present in my material so because of that the reduction area is very less only 20 to 30 percentage that means the sample deformation is actually less in hot working as compared to cold working okay so that's why on an automobile industry cold rolling has an important you know role because you have to uh, thin down the material to 2 mm 3 mm so what happens they can easily mold the sheets into car bodies okay so it is also kind of tmt right so this is an important uh, concept okay where we discussed 
TMT. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and do visit our website to enroll under us for gate 2022 also. We have already opened the seats for gate 2022. So please do check out our website and also if you are interested to take our test series, you can always do that. So yeah, that's it from my side. Meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept. Thank you guys.